Hello everyone! In this video I'm going to clean up y-axis motion elements and pack the bearings with grease. Then I will proceed to destroy y-idler mount by inserting wrong type of an M3 nut. Since the last time I printed all of the uh, parts that have been missing, uh, I printed some stuff from Mark III because I had this weird bed that um, should work with the these. I also printed a new G GT2 holder, uh, new motor holder, new... Uh, I really I always wanted to have a um, tensioner, so this is... Uh, this part is idler and tensioner. Um, and I hope I printed enough... and I printed the helper. Fortunately, uh, my other 3D printers had some cooling issues, so I had to put a fan next to it and it uh, popped this print right off at the end, so you can see the um, the de defect of uh, last uh, top layer printing over the uh, part that uh, is just sliding around, but uh, dimensionally this should be fine. Uh, one thing I want to do before starting assembly, by the way, this is not correct. The um, the rod should hold like this, but it does not matter. Actually, I need one more thing. I need some uh, paper towels. So, um, I want to uh, pack the... Be uh, before I proceed, I want to pack the bearings with grease, since they're like out and they're actually... These are uh, good Mitsumi bearings, so I should probably have some uh, make some effort to maintain them. So I'm just gonna clean whatever grease I have on the outside of them. I think some sometimes, uh, and I use this. Uh, Sometimes I, uh, um, if, they st if the bearings start lock up, I just uh, um, spread some grease on the rails and most, some of it goes in, but a lot of it also stays out, out of the bearing, so that's not super helpful. So, uh, the grease I use is a waterproof bike grease. And I think it's even biodegradable, so that's nice. Uh, I know it's not the most optimal grease, but that's what I have, and that's what I have plenty of, so um, that's what I'm using. I'm just gonna take this uh, dental tool, sco scoop up some grease, and then uh, deposit it on the bearing. Rollers. So I think uh, there, there are four rollers and I'm just gonna spread this grease out for each roller. And I think there's one left here. Hopefully I'm not gonna pop any uh, any of the um, bearing balls. Yeah. Okay. That's one, and this is the last one. Maybe dental tool is not super appropriate because I'm kind of afraid that I might pop one ball. From the bearing and then they're not gonna work the same ever again but it uh, it works awfully well as a scoop it's like a tiny spoon tiny misshapen spoon that kind of st still kind of works like spoon So I have that, I sort of packed the grease in there. 
Also, while I'm at it, I'm gonna go and uh, wash the rails. They feel a little bit sticky. I think it's because of all the grease. I'm going to do this off camera. I'm just gonna get soapy water and a rag. Okay, so we have our somewhat wet uh, smooth rod. Now let's go to the next step. So yeah, well, quick recap, I, I did this. Yeah, I'm gonna keep bearings in this um, paper towel, so. The problem is now I'm getting into the hardware that I may or may not have. Uh, so uh, let's see what I can do about this. So okay, I have these two boxes with the most hardware I used for 3D printer. This one has M5 stuff, this has some of the M3 stuff. I have other box with a little bit like random things, so it's not as helpful as this. So let's see if um, I can get anywhere with this. And I, I almost have no, uh, I have like one or two kinds of uh, M4 screws. So uh, if it's an M4, I'm kind of uh, uh, out of luck. Okay, so let's let's ha let's take the Z Idler mount, which is this part. It's kind of I decided to print it like this, which uh, um, there are some issues. Just gonna get a bag of trash, and I'm gonna try to uh, clean some of the. So so it was supposed to be printed like that, I guess, but for some reason I decided to print it like this. And there, I guess I was afraid that it's gonna get knocked down while printing because it's like, like a tall and thin part. I didn't want to put too much brim in there. So take a uh, Y Idler uh, mount, which is this part. Place uh, one lock knot in the pocket at the back of the part as shown. So uh, we place one lock nut that goes in here. The problem is I do not have lock nuts for M3. I only have uh, regular and square nuts. So we'll have to, maybe I'll just, um, I wanna try and see if I can put uh, two uh, square nuts in there. I mean, it's probably going to be the same as a lock knot. Problem. The keyword here is probably. Oh, and this part is not really easy. So I need to kind of place it. I need to press it in and it's not, uh, it's not cooperating. Uh, maybe I can. Take this bit with hardware, get it out of the way, and then I will just try and. Or is this as far as it goes? This has to go lower because uh, this thing is uh, sits against the rail, so. This is maybe um, the first time where um, we're printing stuff in lower resolution that I'm supposed to is ca catching up with me. I printed this thing with uh, I printed this thing with uh, 0.5 millimeter nozzle at 0.4 uh, layer height, so it's a bit uh, rougher than it should be. Something like this. Maybe I need straight pliers. I mean, th this looks a lot better already. Uh, now, but but from this side, I still need to. I need to drive this thing in there. So maybe I need to do something like. Uh, well, first I'm going to fish this thing back out.
if I can. So it is likely that I just may have damaged the thread. So let's see how we're doing on that front. No. So yeah, the problem here is that I'm supposed to have a lock nut and I don't have one. And instead I'm going to use a regular M3 knot and um, uh, there's some extra room so it might twist in exactly the wrong way and then um, nothing's going to work. So uh, I'm going to try and kind of press it in with the, this driver bit and hope that I can kind of um, hammer this thing down. Okay, it's, if you can see from this hole, it's almost there. Just a little bit more. Maybe this should have been a... Uh, a square knot, especially since the square knots are used somewhere else in the design. This is usually kind of a square knot thing for the this kind of application. So yeah, I'm just gonna try and see if I can maybe straighten this thing with um, uh, screwing in a very long knot and checking if it's uh, if I'm able to thread it. And it seems like I am able to thread it. Oh, now we have a big problem. Knot is spinning. And I basically, I just ruined this part. So yeah, this is not working for me. This design is definitely not working for me. So uh, I, st I still like this design. I still want to um, do this. Maybe what I can try and do instead is use, actually what happens if I just um, hammer a square knot in there? Would it be any worse? Would it fit? Yeah, in order to know that I'm kind of, I need to get the, okay. Maybe let me try and um, press this square knot in a little bit so it will, that it might hold our round knot, but it doesn't look like this is happening. Yeah, no. So no, this part is completely ruined now. And the problem with PTG that when I don't want it to be uh, strong, it is very strong. So um, I'm going to print this part again with the same settings and I'm just going to try and use um, square knot instead of a uh, smaller knot that it is easy to break and hope for the best. Also just um, before starting this video I uh, I, I just uh, wanted to quickly check uh, other parts that might be um, miss that I might be missing and another part that I am missing is um, it's down here somewhere it's um, this uh, Dowel pin. I don't even know how to pronounce it. And basically, uh, so in the old design or in just dolly design, uh, we just kind of used a longer M3 screw through this thing and it was fine. However, here it is not going to work because this thing is basically pressed uh, against the mother plastic. So I think I'm gonna try and uh, 3D print uh, this towel pin. I may need to. So it's going to be. It looks like it's uh, just about uh, the size of uh, M3. So yeah, I'm going to print the pin in the size of M3. So that's basically just under three millimeter uh, cylinder. That is. 
uh, 12 millimeters long. I, I mean, I also can just uh, screw this thing in and then try and cut it. I probably will not succeed, but uh, that's the idea.